today I thought I'd do something a little bit different I'm not going to do a, a film and chop and film with two bloody cameras and all sorts of rigmarole I'm just going to quickly show you what I do from a distance I shall be like that but it be it and uh, those that have seen uh, videos with it in will know that I have a shelf of loads of skulls on when I first bought them I put them up and I thought look like that there's six I bought six to start with and look like sex triplets and a bit of a shop so I thought resin I thought maybe I can dot to resin about maybe it's not too easy to saw and to chip and everything and it wasn't that bad so I decided I was going to make them all look different like you do if you go in the uh, bone church or somewhere like that and there's all these bones and skulls over the years they're they're all different they age differently some chip some break uh, some just in the process of being in the grave um, age and bits fall off uh, the earth gets to the bone and rather than just a lovely skeleton head unless you really really clean it up it's all crusted and whatever so that was my idea so I started on the, the resin ones and then uh, one of the two plastic ones I had I thought when you, you nip out Halloween you buy a couple of so and I thought uh, I'll give one a go and I'll give one a go to be honest I've got them over there with the resin ones and you won't really tell hell of a lot of different difference in fact if you split the resin up and put one of those in with them it makes it look even better anyway is the model of the day just bought it from asda three pound so you've all you've all had one or you've got some or whatever there you go and at the end I'll I'll do a before and after um, but for now I'll do everything just there right <clears throat> start with teeth and that not a lot you can do because like with the resin ones you actually get teeth with these it's just smooth there so you can't literally take teeth out you'd have you'd see holes between the base and the top unless you took all that base out so we're not going to do anything with those this lad has survived with it with his teeth um, it's got a jaw some haven't this one has so first thing you decide am I going to have it with a jaw or am I going to have it without the jaw like that so a jawless or a jaw. For this we're going to keep a jaw. With the resin ones the jaw actually comes separate. Uh, I could sort of pull this out. When it's separate you can literally ski with the, uh, uh, the jaw so it, it looks a bit ski with. You can take it off you can some of them I hot glue what I, I mean with this I might I hot glued it something like that so it it looked like it was dead with this grimace of shock and horror on its face so it's either with this one it's that that or that so we might do that with it give it a bit of a gruesome horror look the other thing with this you got to make it look a little bit different to just the plastic skull and the main thing with this is look in the eyes if you got them you'll know they're flipping shiny plastic black paint 
and then the nostrils the same gives you the impression of whatever it is some I bought they had flipping gold in so what do I need one skull <clears throat> one paintbrush this is how I do it one paintbrush one little kitchen knife serrated I find that's better because you, you get a bit of a grip one spoon <clears throat> one bottle of PVC glue it's the sort of glue kids use in school that white glue uh, it, it dries a little bit plasticky as you can see there um, and the other thing a little tiny bowl with coffee grounds um, if you make coffee you're gonna end up with coffee grounds I found these really really flipping helpful so show you what we do those with those in a minute but what we're gonna do to start with we decided this uh, jaw is gonna be on there so I'm gonna take this and get rid of this so you find if you try and not do it towards you or towards your wrists or anything keep it sort of pretty safe push it till it goes in and then you can cut and saw so if you bear with me a moment what I might do every now and then is uh, just stop and come back what I'm going to do at the moment is with this I'm going to take out all this black from there there and there so I'll do that and come back okay we're back got the black out the eyes got the black out the nose and it looks like this so see already it looks a little bit more realistic because you ain't got the black in there what you could have done you could have painted it this color look at pictures of real skulls and you see like little holes in the back you can sort of dig those out the other thing with this is if you notice when you do it you're taking the black out you can be as precise as you want you can be as bloody rough as you want don't matter you don't have to be precise with it we're talking about if you're trying to age this and make it look a bit like it's just been thrown out of a grave you don't necessarily want it looking pristine you can keep one or two of them pristine um, some of the, uh, um, the resin ones instead of doing things with the eyes I just paint the back of the eyes with what I'm going to do in a minute and it makes a difference what I'll do is, if I remember, I'll, I'll put one or two of these up at the end so you can see what they look like. Anyway, that's where we're up to, up to yet. So, leave it there. Do I want to leave it there? His lost bone there, his lost bone there. So. And this is where you can do what the hell you like comes in. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to say to herself, yeah, some of these bone structures and that are pretty flipping. Skulls are pretty hefty, but parts of them, especially when you lose bits, become fragile. So, I don't think I have to go away for this. But what we're going to do is we're going to knock a bit of the skull out. So, let's have a look. Won't take much. Now, like I said, if you get no idea and you're going to do whatever it is, the best thing to do is don't worry if it doesn't go to plan. I've, I've done this many, many times and it doesn't go to plan and you think it looks even better. So here we are, we've took out a little bit of the scut, the nose bit there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're not going to leave this exactly like that going to give it a bit more fracture so what i'm going to do is say trauma here 
it's broke the nose, it's took that out to the eye socket. Both eyes sockets have been destroyed. Going to destroy a bit of the skull with it. Now if it's resin, it's a lot easier. You can get a pair of pliers and just keep snapping away at it. With plastic, you've got to... If you've got a really hefty pair of scissors, you can probably do it, but I find this is just as good. So what we're going to do is, that's the eye now. I'm going to do something like this. And I've got bits of plastic going everywhere. And it doesn't sound very bloody happy about this, does it? Now you can do as much or as little as you want. A lot bigger now. Bit round, I don't particularly like that very much. So, as we're doing it there, see a little bit broke out. Fantastic. That's where I said it goes wrong. Looks flipping good. So we're going to go up this way. With this plastic, you can dig into it, turn your knife a little bit, and it will throw chunks out. So now, that perfect circle is something like that. Oh, there, there. Let's have a look. Maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll just take another one or two chunks out above the nose. I'm making a bloody mess here. Good job I got a kilt. Right, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the knife in and turning it, breaking bits off, and I'm taking it back over the top of the nose. There. So now it looks like that. Okay. I'll leave the bits in for now. So now you've got skull that looks totally flipping different. This is the next bit. PVC. Coffee grounds. Now you can use coffee grounds. You might think, well, I'm going to end up with a bloody skull that's all green and mouldy and all sorts. You're not because the PVC glue is going to in case all the little bits of coffee granules and everything so it's okay I've, I've done these a long time back and nothing so plenty of glue depending on what you're doing how much you want and this is where the spoon come in but i'm not going to bother just going to do it with I put, I put a lot of coffee grounds in here, so you don't have to um, put the PVC glue in and then add coffee grounds to the amount you want. I mean, mine is pretty, pretty dark, pretty thick and dark with coffee grounds. Now, somehow, I don't want to freaking get this on me. I don't mind bits of plastic. I'm going to try not to flip in, get my hand full of this stuff. Let's take some of this out. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to doctor this up a bit. So I'm not going to do echo a lot, but let's get some on your brush. And if you see that, it's there. Just go all over the the skull, you don't have to go at the bottom unless you're gonna lift it up. Now as you're doing this, you're going to give it a little bit of a PVC coating. And in the coating, there's going to be bits of the coffee grounds. How many bits is up to you? How you want it? Now, if you look on the top there, you see bits of coffee in it. So already it's looking better than just 
playing by its skull if you want a bit of character to it and like I said because it's a cheap Halloween one uh, you want a bit of character to it really and what I'm trying to do like I said I'm trying to get that look of the grave the coffin's gone and the, the old skeleton's been in the ground for goodness knows how many years and we haven't dug it up and doctored it up so you can, you can be a bit flipping a wired with this really do what what you want so there look there's quite a lot of coffee on there but you get the idea of it's making it look more like it's encrusted you just took it up it's encrusted and you haven't took it up and then somebody's put it in all sorts of bloody rigmarole to to make it look neat so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do some of the <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think that flipping soup's getting to it. So we're going to do some of the front of the face now. And what I tend to do is I look for little areas where I can accumulate. So there above the eye, I'm going to accumulate a little bit more so-called dirt. And along the front. Don't forget, because you've cut it, go round the inside of the cut, otherwise you're going to have this lovely white cut, which you don't want. It wants the... So I'm going round all that at the moment. The inside of all the cuts. And now, that's that. So... I put a fair wad in of this stuff on top of that eye socket. A little bit on that one. Quite a bit on top of the nose. What's left of it. Show you again in a minute. Um, where the nostrils would be. In there. Down the bottom. And then there's little. There's little niches and all sorts. Just above the. The, uh, the teeth where the bones go in well like they could accumulate bits of dirt and everything so yeah stick a bit in there uh, cheeks cheekbones on the cheekbones under the eyes it's like doing your bloody makeup before you go out and I'm I'm not I'm no way a bloody artist of this sort of thing um, we we'll get to the jaw later. So now it's looking a little bit like that. If you can see what I mean. Right. And then you can still go around, doctor it up a little bit. If you think there's a bit too much there, just spread it out a little bit. Um, but now it's getting a little bit of a, a darker tinge to it, like it's been in soil. I'm spreading this around a little bit. You'll see it better on the before and after pictures. Now because you can't do anything with the teeth, it's good to get some of the dirt in the teeth. Because, as you know, the, the Halloween ones, they do look like a set of plastic skull teeth. But if you get the brown on and some of the the dirt looking it does tend to make them look a little bit more realistic um, right now just going to the uh, the jawbone and I'm just gonna doctor that up a little bit not a lot right I know you can't see much of what I'm doing, but it's it's just to give you the idea and what you can do. If you don't want a perfect looking skull, you want to doctor it up a little bit, then do this. Um, now what you can do as well, which I, I shall probably do when I'll turn this off to let this dry and then come back to some degree. 
what you can do is you look there in the skull it's pretty pretty much white compared to the rest of the skull and dirt would have got in there so what you can do use that brush get a bigger brush get in there you can even thin that down and really swill it around so that when you look in there and you're looking inside that skull it's it's aged as well and that said don't forget the edges of these cuts because you don't want an old looking skull with flipping white cuts so check that so that's what i'm going to do for the moment and i'm going to go and let it dry come back give you a look at it probably have a go on the inside as well just before i set it down but if you remember what it looked like before this is what it looks like now and it doesn't look quite as good because it's got to dry out and that really but it's going to look a lot different so I'm going to do that in there let it dry show you it put it in with the others let you see what it looks like with the others and uh, uh, before and then after so you really get an idea of what we're talking about um, this is all right if you want to age your skull a bit and you don't just want this pretty three pound toy so catch you in a few minutes okay back finished dry put some on the inside of the skull so it didn't look so white looking at it um, so now I will put up the picture of before, after, you might like before, you might like after, might not like either of them, but now it's got a rough rugged feel, you can feel the grains underneath the uh, PVC and all this is set in place, all the, the little areas where there seems to be little bits of dirt or coagulating and whatever, it's all set there in the PVC. Smells a little bit of coffee, that will go. Um, like I said, sits there months, doesn't change, doesn't get moulded up, anything like that. It's all set within pvc so i glued the the mouth open a little bit not too far so it's firm uh, i'll put a picture up of the skulls i've already done uh, top two second row i'm just starting on funny enough there's a fairly light colored skull there which just arrived a little while back while I was waiting for it, the other one to dry that is uh, the basic white uh, resin skull next to it from the right as you look at it uh, will be this one so yeah there we are if you look at it a bit closer up looks like a, a skull that's pretty damaged a little bit older pretty damaged it doesn't look like a three pound flipping plastic thing you just got out the shop it does look a bit more realistic when you put it with the other ones it tends to look a, even a little bit better so there you go folks um not very close up but get the drift of how i put together this sort of thing and I like it. For me, it just makes them different. Gives them a bit of a character. Gives them that bit of a sort of the bone church look. So, have a go. I so said, you don't have to be precise. If you go offline, if it, even if it smashes or splits all the way across, doesn't matter. It's doing what an old school might do anyway so 
just go for it and for three quid you can't go flipping wrong can you three quid and a cup of coffee catch you later <laughs> alas for Yorick I knew him Horatio fellow of infinite jest 